words are obscene. I know, Vonda, but you can make the song dignified. Would you rather I ask Todd? No, no, I'll do it. You've got the balls. We've got the holes. Put these holes deep inside these holes. Have some holiday sex. Holiday sex. Consensual sex. Consensual sex. Buy the sausage here. Buy the sausage there. Come, come, come. Have some holiday sex. Hello, campers. I trust everyone enjoyed their first night here at Rutland's, Britain's premier adults-only holiday resort. My, my, most of you have already got into the spirit of things. Nearly all couples have paired off and become intimately acquainted in the privacy of your chalets. Lovely, but we do ask you to participate in the group activities outdoors. We look forward to seeing you on the sports field in half an hour for the open air orgy. Ladies, please don't overexert the gentlemen beforehand. We need them to rise to the occasion. Gladiola, I must report a serious breach of decorum. What is it this time? Mr. Bover is charging for his services, like a common gigolo. But just don't pay. I never do. He's charging the campers. Todd, is this true? I accept the odd donation. In exchange for my donation, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Todd, we celebrate free love. We're not a brothel. You can talk, Vonda. You sell signed photos of you and Murray going at it like rabbits. Our refined demonstrations of positions of the Karma Sutra are tasteful and educational. Oh, I'd like the lot. If you ever feel poorly, let me be your undertaker. I hope you mean understudy. Well, I'm keen to go on. Or under, or, or upside down. <laughs> you need to stay out of sight, Preggy, in your condition. My bell is a simple of futility. <laughs> Rutlins promotes safe sex. Our message is contraception, not babies. Here comes Spook in his latest costume. How's this, Gladiola? For the Wizard of Oz foursome. The hair's about the right length. But I think Judy Garland wore plaited pigtails. I'm not Dorothy. I'm the lion. Oh, I'm Tin Man. Hard as metal. Even without me codpiece. <laughs> Do you need a Dorothy? Bond has agreed to play her. Since no one else can convey a radiant youth with my flower. Well, what about the scarecrow? I know all his lines. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. <laughs> Preggy, you're a chalet maid. Stick to making beds. No, can I? The campers are still flipping, testing them out. If you're part of my French. Well, be flexible. Align your housekeeping duties with the gentleman's refractory periods. Spook! Show us condom costume. <laughs> OK, I'll just be a tick. Morning all. How are we all doing on this glorious blessed day? <laughs> I, for one, find your incessant cheerfulness quite nauseating, Mr P. Ditto. You were more bearable when they were a right misery guts. Oh, I were bleeding kids what drove me to drink. Now they're banned from premises. Oh, I'm a sober, happy man. <laughs> Punch and Judy can merrily bang away to their heart's content. <laughs> Hello, Rutland's Adults Only Holiday Resort. 
but the orgasms or your money back. Uh, <laughs> here's a tip, old son. Fill a water pistol with milk, tuck it inside Mr. Punch's todger, and for finale, squirt it all over Judy's mug and noppers. Mr. Buffer, if you persist with your vulgarity, I shall be obliged to leave the company. You'll be doing us a favour, love. Oh, oh, if Fonda goes, I'll fill the shoes. But, 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 the person who ought to leave the company is Mr. Buffer. Oi, leave it out, you silly cow. Gladiola, I demand his instant dismissal. Oh, it, it talk goes, make me come post. I know all his fiddles. You backstabbing baggage. <laughs> talk by an expert, can't very much. Oh, let's all calm down now and thank the godless universe for our perishing existence. Oh, shut up, shut up the lot of you, shut the hell up. <laughs> Excuse me, I am not accustomed to being addressed with language. Oh, what's up, Glad? This isn't like you. Power's gone to her head. Ever since she became entertainment manager. That should have been me. You're about to be dismissed, remember? You ought to be fired, Lady Muck, for cruel and unusual snobbery. Spoke. You're meant to be a rubber johnny, right? Am I convincing? As a shrink-wrapped cucumber. <laughs> or let me be camp comic spook. I'm better at dressing up. You can steal my costume ideas, Preggy, but you'll never get my jokes. No one ever does. That plastic's too loose, lad. It'd slip off. And accidents have consequences. Oh. I'm walking proof, <laughs> but some gents never admit their obfuscations, do they, Todd? Well, I couldn't have knocked your pet. Me girth guarantees a snug fit. Part down, everyone. We're forgetting Gladiola. She must be under huge pressure. <sighs> you have no idea. Well, if you need to resign, Maybe someone else could step in. Someone with ambition like. Oh, I bet Irene is having a good old laugh. You lot squabble over who should lose their job when the cold, hard fact is we're all in for the chop. Every last one of us. Come again? That was Mr. Rutslin on the blower. He's shutting us down. Why? He's gone religious. So? I'm C of E. We're progressive. He's born again. He spouted scripture at me. Fornicators shall burn in hell. Cripes! We're toast! Let's go back to being family friendly. Never. Mr. Rutlin might forgive us. Well, I stand for free love, no matter what. I'd sooner go on dole and swear off putting it about. My sentiments exactly. Long live Pollyanna Ray. <laughs> Rutlin can get stuffed. If he were here, I threw my shoe at him. I'd do more damage. I'd chuck me well eh? I loathe the jack more than I hate kids. He's a stupid old gift. Give credit where it's due. Mr. Rutland's a master of disguise. Bollocks. Whenever he checks up on us, pretending to be a camper, I always spot him a mile away. Not this time. Ha-ha! <laughs> Mr. Rutlin, but, but you were just on the blower. Next door. While Spook was out the room, he lent me his costume. A dirty traitor. Uh, uh, stand still, boss. I'll smash your head in. Preggy! Hear me out. I was testing your loyalty. 
congratulations. You all passed. After what we said? I'm retiring. I had to make sure you'll uphold my most cherished values. Greed and gluttony. Sexual freedom. Gladiola, you're the new owner. Blame me. May I join you in the morning audit? Let's lead it off together. Todd, your entertainment's manager. Vonda, your camp host. You got last love. Thank you, kind sir. This leaves us with a performer short. Preggy, step up. Announce the staff changes. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hello, campus. <laughs> Sausage care, I'm sausage care. Come, 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 have some holiday sex. 